Okay, so good day everyone. So, by the way, I am Mr. Vicente M. Tisay Jr., your BS at English to Shatan Campus. Okay, so today we are going to be tackling about the uh, Unit 3, which is the type typology of learners with special needs. Of course, so I am being assigned or tasked to uh, tackle about the learners with learning disabilities. Okay, so here is my objective. So today, we are going to identify the learners with learning disabilities or the LD and of course uh, demonstrate an understanding of the special education needs of learners. And then of course uh, we have to perform an activity wherein the learners with learning disabilities. Okay, so uh, here's um, a motivation. So I know or I assume that you already uh, watch the videos that I already posted or if you want to I will uh, include the link in the description below for you to know about our motivation so um, now we will have a game called uh, catch me please uh, catch me please so um, whenever I'm going to ask you a question of course you are going to answer and this is uh, don't worry because the star or the question that I'm going to throw to you or ask to you is more about in this story so if you watch the video or the well, our motivational video then you are going to answer those questions okay so we're going now to move on our discussion so um learning with learning disability so learning with learning disability is a neurological disorder and in simple terms so a learning disability results from a difference uh, in the way of a person's brain is wired children with learning disabilities are smart or smarter than their peers but they may have difficulty in reading writing spelling reasoning uh, recalling and or um, organizing organizing i'm sorry organizing information it left to figure things out by themselves or if thought in conventional ways actually no children with learning disabilities can be figured out or can be um uh, discover in the very early age so why do we think so that uh, those children are uh, we can notice that these children has a learning disabilities in the early age or um, let us say age, from ages 5 to 7 or uh, 5 and above no so children with learning disabilities can be noticed or um, know that this children has a specific uh, learning disability in a very early age it's because this is the time the, uh, the, that they are really having uh, uh, the time for them to learn or this is the time for their school age so as a teacher it is your responsibility uh, to know uh, the specific learning disability of your uh, students and for you to cater them or for you to know on how to cater this uh, disabilities okay of course uh, I am not saying that you have to be soon parents but uh, um, I know or we all know that you are or we are going to be soon teachers so it is very important also for us teacher uh, or as, as a parent that uh, we are going to be the support system of our child um, we are the first who knows our children so it is our also responsibility to know it okay so learning disabilities one of this is dyslexia okay so Dyslexia is a language-based disability in which a person has a trouble understanding in written words. Uh, it may also be referred to as, as reading disability or reading disorder. So when it comes to reading, when the child really don't know how to read or uh, the brain of this child is really um, disorganized, the brain of the child uh, if if you're going to imagine that this child or this normal child have uh, have an organized letters on their mind, but they um, learn uh, the, the learner with dyslexia has a disorganized letters. So this is for you to really find out on what you are going to do. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to way uh, to help students with dyslexia. Okay, so of course, first give them a visual materials. Um, Give them a visual materials. This is for them to visualize the things, for them not to forget the uh, the uh, 
the learnings or the teaching that you are um, teaching, okay? So, give them words and pictures. So, this is um, also a good thing or a good way because you are going to give them some words and pictures and just to incorporate and don't ever forget that don't use any pictures that they uh, that uh, it's not familiar for them. Just like, for example, a flashcard you are going to use is a raspberry. A ras raspberry is not really known here in the Philippines. So uh, instead of you using a raspberry or unfamiliar words, you can use um, apple. Uh, you can also use grapes or apple or um, mango or banana. And the next is involve body movements. This is for them also to remember those. Uh, uh, for example, if I'm going to shake and then I'm going to uh, tell the child that this word is shake so um it is ve very easy for them to really understand the words or it it, it is really for uh, easy for them to really uh, uh don't forget the words okay next is give them visual materials of course um we all know that most of the children or the learners are visual learners so uh it is very important for them to uh in, it is very important as a teacher you're going to use uh visual materials for uh, for your teaching Okay, next is teach the child in art visual, visualizing as they read. So, while reading, uh, allow them to pause for a while and then allow or let them imagine the uh, phrases that they are reading. Uh, this is also for them uh, to really uh, focus in the words that they are really uh, reading on that time. Next, uh read out loud i'm so sorry i uh, read read out loud this is for them to really memorize or to really uh, encode in the results or mind that this word is tangled this word is an apple this word is a banana so this, this is very easy no uh next learning disability is dyscalculia so this is a mathematical uh, disability in which a person has a difficult time solving arithmetic problems and grasping math concepts so the question is, uh, if I, I, I really don't know how to solve some uh, um, some arithmetic, uh, am I included or am I considered having a dyscalculia? No, because as, as what the statement says, it is just a mathematical disability in which a person has difficult time solving arithmetic problems. So if I know the uh, basic fundamental operations in mathematics, then uh, I cannot be considered as having a dyscalculia. Okay, so of course, um, if you have a child ha having this this calcula, please don't be impatient. Um, longer your patience, and then just try to um, help the child. So here's the tips on how to uh, help the students with this calculia. Okay, first use graph paper to help line up the numbers. This is really for them na dili mula pa ang ilahang mga linings or uh, sa pagsulat nila sa numbers. Next is uh, allow extra time on test. Why did you say so, Kuya, uh, Kuya JR? It's because they are really having a hard time answering or uh, in mathematical situation or arithmetic problems. So, uh, as a teacher, you, ha you really have to give time or an extra time on test for them to really um, understand the problems that they are solving. Next, you can use blocks, coins, and puzzles. Uh, um, using blocks and puzzles, of course, you have to really remember that, uh, um, think that it, it must be age appropriate, no? And then next is do sketches to solve problem. This is for uh, also for them to really uh, know how to um, put some uh, time on solving a problem. Next is use visual aids or manipulative. You can use any manipulative that you can think that, of course, connects on your topic or on your lesson. Next is highlight or circle keywords. Um, this um, tips is really a good thing because they will always remember that this number is this one or this word is uh, this is the meaning of this word, or this is uh, the way on how to write this number. Next is use concrete example that connects math in real uh, in real life. Okay, so you have to really use concrete example uh, 
that connects math in real life like just just for example if you're showing uh five numbers so you have to put five bananas or five apples this is for, this is also for them to really help on remembering that numbers are really uh, not that bad in um in their learning process next is dysgraphia so this is also a this uh a writing disability in which uh, a person finds it hard to form letters or write within a defined space so uh dysgraphia is a really um a, a disability in um uh, writing or i'm sorry yes in in writing uh, a child as you can um recall in your elementary days uh there are really children who are really um um they are writing out of lines they are writing um unorganized so uh, instead of seeing bird or writing bird they are writing breed or brid so um as a teacher it is very important also for you to really see if your children or your student is having this disability and if they uh, if your student has this disability then here's the ways to for you to um really cater those or help the students with this graphia okay so let them fill it let let them fill the letters okay so you really have to have uh, to let them fill the letters this is for them to visualize or uh touch the letters that ah okay this is letter j ah okay this is letter a okay if you can remember brails but brails are are different from what i am telling you right now next is identify the student if he or she is left-handed this is for you as a teacher to know where you are going to focus on letting him or her in writing okay next is teach them how to write big letters okay this is for also for them to really uh um starting in a big letters and then um next is you are going to teach them in, in small letters but for them to really memorize or uh encode in yourself that this one is letter a or letter b you have to you start really start in a big letters next let the chain corporator allow them to play with clay as your activity um using clay is a good thing also for those uh remember age appropriate uh this is a good thing of uh in informing a clay into a numbers or into a letters because this is fun and this is really engaging okay next is practice pinching so this this graphia is really having a hard time on uh gripping or pinchings uh pinching some uh um uh, pencil so as a teacher you are going to teach them how to use or how to handle a pen so by practicing in pinching or if you have a tongue in your class or if you have a tongue you can use that for them to be uh practice in pinching okay next is uh okay so here's my group activity Okay, so this activity is inspired by the game Wow Wow Bean. So the one to three go. So the class will be divided into three groups, counting from one to three. And I have a prepared the questions about the topic being discussed. I will show a picture of a child, and the picture will be, uh, describe themselves. Okay, so uh, having a dyslexia, dysgraphia, or dyscalculia. Okay, this is a challenge, so everyone you should participate. The more points, the more chances of winning. So the group with smallest scores will have its consequence. By the way, again, this is Mr. Vicente M. Pisa Jr. If you have your questions, you can comment down below or you can comment below uh, for me to answer those questions that you are asking. Thank you so much. Goodbye.